Hey, this is Dan Nickerson. In this video, I want to talk about this um, plugin that I found. It's a splash plugin that actually adds a sidebar pop-out. It's more of a sidebar pop-out plugin. Uh, I had seen this functionality on other blogs, and I was looking for a plugin that would do it. If not, if I didn't find one, I was going to make one and sell it. Uh, but I found this one, and it does the it does the trick. It could be improved in a few different ways, but but hey, it works. Um, as you can see, I can pop out a video here. I can pop out an image here. Uh, I was going to use it to pop out a video or just even pop out a little banner ad with a special offer to anyone that visits one of my WordPress blogs. So you just imagine you'd say special offer and then you click on this and you can explain the special offer and they click it and you drive a new sale. So for the price of the plugin, I mean if you can make one sale uh, of something you're trying to sell, um, you know, you can cover the cost of the plugin and, you know, who knows, maybe you increase your sales by one per day. So this, these are the kind of tools and little plugins that I like or things that I can actually increase my conversions or make me a little more money. So let me just show you how to install this. So I bought this, just bought it, and um, I'm going to go to my site, newbereport.com, and I'm going to add the plugin. So I bought it. I downloaded the zip file for the plugin to my desktop. Uh, I'm going to click on Upload, and I'm going to browse to that zip file on my desktop, which is here and I'm going to open it up and install. So I've installed the plugin, now I'm activating the plugin. And then what this does is it actually uses Google's, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> WordPress's custom post function to add a left splash bar or a right splash bar. So you can add left, right, or you can add both. I'm going to click on add new for the right as an example. Now this looks like a post editor and the reason is so you can actually type or use things just like a post. So I can type in write and I can type in this is, you know, test test copy. If I wanted to add an image or a video, I could do that too. I could just use my regular WordPress functions. If I wanted to paste a YouTube embed code, I could do that as well. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm just typing in some test copy. One thing I have learned though is that um, you probably want to indent it. So I'm going to actually indent this right a little bit because it is a little too close to the border. So that's one of the things I would have changed with them. They have two options for customizing. There's a right, uh, there's a default um, CSS that you can use. Um, I will probably end up using this and just tweaking that CSS to my liking. Because uh, the other thing they have is they have this custom uh, system. So you can select um, all their. Oop, am I missing something here? Uh, well, sorry. Okay, so you can see there's 360, 310, 310. These are the actually widths of the pop-out. So 360 would be 360 pixels, 310, 310, obviously 225 on the left and on the right. Um, so you can select any of these. So let's just say I take the right-hand side because that's where I'm displaying. And I click on Update Preview and there's a little yellow tab. Um, so you can go back here and you can choose another one like 360 right 6. And on this one I update and it's a little purple tab. So you get the idea. Let me find one other one here. These could have been labeled a little better, like a right blue seven or something like that, you know. Uh, that's red. I'll keep that one for now. Uh, the other thing I recommend is clicking on the transparent background. Okay, now the next thing is, is that you need to actually select what categories or pages you want this on. So let's just say that you only want it on a landing page or a squeeze page, you know, like with some last pitch to someone. Um, then you can select just to have it on one page. Um, you know, same with categories. If you want it on every page of your website, you need to select all the categories. So I'm just going to click on, uh, they could have made this a little more intuitive on here. They have categories on here as right. Um, they should have like a full site. Just you know, click here for full site. But, um, or click here for a specific page or post. So I'm just going to click on those. And now I can publish it. Okay, so I'm publishing it, and now I go back to my website, and I click on Reload, and it should pop up on the right here. And there's the show content. This is the test copy. This is a little funky. Okay, see that blue blue bar? I need to fix that. That's the CSS thing here. So I go back here. See how it says I have a one-pixel border? I don't want that. So I'm going to update the preview and Reload still reloading. Come on, did not save? I update. See, I clicked on update preview, I didn't click on update post. So update post. Now reload. Okay, so now it's gone. So now I have this little show content thing on the right hand side. And you can change the background, once again, you can change all that stuff. But you can just imagine if you have a, even if it's a banner ad, um, you could pop, put a banner ad in there saying, hey, check out this offer before you leave. 
you know, one sale per month um, it obviously makes this, this plugin a no-brainer to buy. So, so that's it. So there's a link uh, below the video if you want to buy it. Um, so, you know, once again, there's a link there, and just click on that. And uh, if you need any help with it, if you join through my affiliate link, because yes, I'm affiliate, then I can help you with this. So just let me know.